Data Doesn't Lie, your go-to for the science behind the art of parenting. Hi guys, welcome back. So this week, let's talk about um, what it takes to become a neonatal nurse or a nurse that works in a neonatal intensive care unit. And I decided to do this video in answer to um, one of my followers, Mariama's question um, about uh, nursing school and placement in neonatal intensive care units. So uh, this one is for you, Mariama. Shout out to you and thank you for asking the question. Okay, so um, of course, to become a nurse, um, you can either become, to become a registered, registered licensed nurse, you can either do an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree. For neonatal intensive care nursing, um, a bachelor's degree is usually preferred, but you can totally do it with an associate's degree. Um, it used to be that the associates would be about two years with a one year sort of bridge program and then the bachelor's was three years, uh, but now um, you can do a bachelor's in two years. And so once you're uh, an RN, uh, you've passed the exam, then you, you're applying for a residency, right? And your, Mariama's question was, are you placed in a level one and then sort of moved up or sort of where are you placed? So the bottom line is that you, for a residency to be able to get into a residency in the NICU, it's not always common that a fresh grad will be placed straight into the NICU, right? You need experience because we're dealing with a very fragile population and um, as I have seen a, a thousand times, um, the nursing staff that I work with is excellent. They are so well versed in caring for these kiddos that you can imagine that you need experience to be able to do this. So it's not always common that a fresh grad will come straight into the NICU, but it does happen in certain um, institutions, and I'm going to put a link in the description box with the names of those hospitals that actually offer that. Now, of course, because they're not a lot of them, they, it's very competitive, so you have to stand out, you have to have a very a strong GPA, uh, maybe some extracurriculars, um, passion in the area, even some prior experience from nursing school. And again, there are some programs that offer um, externships uh, during nursing school that you can actually do in NICU. Um, and I'll put a link in the description box for those programs. So coming in once you're, because those programs that offer you a residency in NICU are, um, are specific and you know, few and far between, um, they're usually at a higher level NICU. So you will probably be placed at like a level, you will probably enter like a level two, a level three, or even a level four uh, NICU. And once you're in there, you're in there for you know, good, they probably hire you for like a year or two years at least building and gaining experience there and then you can also sort of choose where you want to go after that. Now once you're in the NICU doing um, that residency, when you're done, um, you then ask yourself um, how do you, you, you need certification, right? You need, you need certification to become, um, to show that you have experience there. And of course it requires uh, at least 24 months of experience in the NICU and of course you need um, um, NRP certification that's new need a resuscitation program and at a minimum that's where you need the NRP and then with the 24 months you have to show that you've had at least 2,000 hours in this particular specialty um, and that certification then boils down to sort of two areas where you are an, um, an intensive care nurse certification or um, what's the other one? I forget. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put it in the description box below. Uh, but you can then get certification after two years being in there. Um, I would say that I have worked with, um, not even worked with. I have been taught by excellent nurses. There are certain skills and procedures that I've done that a nurse showed me how to do it better. Um, I have been molded by people who have been in this profession for ages, nursing as well as um, uh, physicians. So um, passion would be your driving factor, passion for this. And everyone who's in this field that I've come across is so passionate about our babies. Um, so Mariama, for you, that's your tip. Hold on to your passion and don't let it go. Just be passionate, passionate, passion in everything you do and you will achieve great things. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions, um, ask me in the comment section and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys next week.